Yeah, so you started off and your parents were, your father was in uh, machining. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so you started oiling and working with him. Yeah. yeah. So after that? After that, uh, so when I was 12 years old, mm. so I wanted to have a TV game. Mm. But uh, my parents bought me a personal computer. <laughs> It's the same computers they said. Uh, <laughs> Big difference mm. between the TV game and the personal computer. Mm. So if I if they gave us, I uh, gave me a uh, TV game. Mm. I I can play with enjoying the uh, game game card. Right. But uh, I have to make the program with PC. Right. <laughs> it, I think it is the start point of my engineering. So uh, I bought the book mm. and uh, put the program mm. and learn to play the game. Mm, mm, the mm. first time I played with the PC mm. using a uh, program list. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That's mm. the first time to make the program for me. What language was that at that time? Uh, basic. Basic. Yeah. Okay, so NEC probably. Those days. NEC basic probably. Uh, N88. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I remember those uh, yeah. systems. <laughs> <laughs> so all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Basic and uh, sometimes we enter the monitor mode to uh -huh. use uh, assemble. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 So how did you evolve? How did your interest in robotics evolve from that? What What did you do next? And after that, uh, I don't so I. I I wasn't interested in PC so much, mm. uh, but uh, I decided to do my my university. Mm. Yeah, I at that time I hope to take a biomaterial or mm. computer science, mm. and uh, I I entered the university of computer science, mm. and I met a micromass. Uh -huh. So I entered the uh, circle to make the micro micro mouse is mm. a small robot mm. to solve the maze. Mm -hmm. Now when I was a freshman in mm. the university, I saw I watched that the uh, uh, micro mouse uh, solve the maze. Mm. Uh, that was so amazing. <laughs> yeah, and I want to make this robot mm. by myself. Mm -hmm. So I entered the circle mm. and learned robots. What is well known? Uh, that's the first time to see the robot mm, for me. Mm, mm, so that is the origin of robot of mm, my history. Mm, yeah. And after that, I uh, studied uh, mm, computer science, uh, but mainly the um, image processing. Uh, yeah, that is the uh, static image processing is not uh, easy to understand what is going on inside of the uh, movie. Mm, and I, I wanted to put the uh, robot robot movement mm. and uh, and also I loved micro mouse uh -huh. and uh, at that time Robocop started from 1997 okay yeah and at the same time the uh, uh, P2 uh, uh -huh. from the human and robot is right. introduced in mm. the conference mm -hmm. and I also joined to that conference mm. and I watched the Robocop the first mm. time mm -hmm. and I entered to the Robocop world Mm. That is uh, joined to the image processing from the seal, right. and a micro mouse like robot uh, moves the circle. Uh -huh. yeah. So love to me, <laughs> <laughs> I'm falling in the robotics. <laughs> Were you uh, studying robotics in college or? At university, yeah. University. Jose University. Oh, okay. Yeah, mm. I graduated Jose University. Uh, I got a job position in the uh, Tokyo Institute of Technology. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I teach uh, some computer science of image processing and the uh -huh. project system. Uh -huh. yeah, after that, uh -huh. uh, I moved to the Kitano project to make a robot and a robot. Uh -huh. yeah. okay. So I met uh, Jira, Napino, and the mm. human robots, mm. and mm. so on. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So oh. And uh, I moved to Miraikan, you know, Daiba. Yeah, that's the new science, new uh, science mu museum. Museum. And I organize all uh, exhibitions, including mm. robots. Okay. So mm. I have many exhibitions of robots, uh, space, 
nanotechnology, mm. uh, ecology, and so on. Mm. And mainly, uh, I try to make a robot area, mm. including Azimo. Uh -huh. And so I love so human and robot research. <laughs> what do you see as the big attraction between wheeled robots like Micro Mouse and then humanoid robots? Is it the big difference for you in your heart? Or? Both. Hmm. Yeah, both. Uh, they attract me. Both of them uh, attract me. The yeah. robot attract me uh, because of the fast movement. Ah. Yeah. And uh, it is difficult to uh, solve the problem in a so fast. How to say? Quickly. So quickly. Yeah. yeah. So they move quickly. Hmm. So. It, it means that uh, processing time is too short mm. to calculate and uh, decide to the which, which uh, uh, destination mm. Mm. and how to go, something mm. like that. So it is very interesting to solve. Mm. Mm. So it attracted me. Sure. And the other side, human and robot, mm. uh, that is very cute. <laughs> so, weird robot attracted me so quick response. But the human robot uh, hmm. attract me by intelligence. Ah. So how to show the cute? Uh, how to show the intelligence? Okay. So how interact to us? Ah. Such an inter inter uh, such an intellectual. Uh, how to say? Yeah, when you say display or something. Hmm. When you say intelligence, mm -hmm. you mean. Uh, Oh, human characteristic. You, yeah, you, human you, characteristic. you don't mean uh, intelligence like uh, calculating power mm -hmm. or how to think fast, but uh, more how to relate to a human being? Yeah, Is that right? yeah relationship with, between a human and a robot. Oh. It's very interesting. Uh, I'm interested in such an uh, interaction. It's sure. very interesting because uh, if I try to contact with potential uh -huh. and uh, if he delayed to reply uh -huh. so my mind is this, uh, it's very strange so yeah so but if he read me as soon as possible so uh -huh. it is so cute uh -huh. feels so very what natural is the timing uh, hmm. has a meaning to the relationship something sure there's also yeah, the sure. safety I noticed mm -hmm. like with uh, Neko Ten uh, Tencho He's very safe for children and people yeah, to... Yeah. So that is our mission. So our company has a mission to make a robot uh, to be a friend. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So if a robot to be a friend, uh, they have to have the function of safety. Mm. And mm. Uh, we can uh, touch them. Mm. And uh, sometimes a uh, robot falling down but mm. it's not so heavy. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So many things uh, they they have to require to be friends. Yeah. So we try to make it a uh, lighter weight. Mm. So Nekotencho has uh, only 12 kilograms. Mm. And also a uh, big android also 14 kilograms. Mm. It's mm. very light. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And also the uh, material of the exterior is mm. very soft. Mm. Nekotencho is very soft mm -hmm. cloth, and this is also a soft one. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So they are. I also soft. noticed that, like with the uh, Robo One uh, humanoids, mm -hmm. the large robots, you mm -hmm. know, when they get up to one meter mm -hmm. or so, they can't stand like that. Oh yeah. They, they have to have some support, mm -hmm. some framework, mm -hmm. or something mm -hmm. like that. And so they fall down easily. But uh, Neko Tencho and uh, Rick Android, mm -hmm. they're standing there perfectly. <laughs> they're stable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is designed by uh, Mr. Nishoka. Mm. Nishoka kun is a uh, very good sense, has a very good sense mm. to make a, a stable one. Mm. Because mm. a human robot has a, a center of gravity. Mm. And also, a uh, Nekotencho is also has a, a big foot. So if the mm. body balance is very important, mm. and the, he designed a uh, uh, perfect tree. Mm. So Nekotencho doesn't uh, falling down, even if the power is off. Right. Yeah. Right. 
and also uh, we put the uh, motors uh, for the two motors, two motors, mm. something like that. So it keeps the safety mm. because one of uh, one of motor uh, broken down. Mm. Uh, if the motor is one motor, uh, it's broken down and they're falling down. Right. But we put the two motors mm. to keep a safety. Mm. So if one motor is broken, but one motor is uh, keeping the. Uh, mm. Stability. stability. So yeah. we're thinking about such a safety and the soft and mm. how to touch, uh, how to react to the uh, owners or a friend mm. or something. Mm -hmm.